quiet on the set. Can Gordon save this restaurant in just 24 hours? You're going to be shocked. 24 hours to hell and back. After tackling just about every other scenario that is possible in a restaurant and turning that into television, now you're going to come up with a brand new program yes. that saves, rescues a restaurant in trouble, but you do it in 24 20, hours. 24 hours. Um, you'll be amazed what any great chef in the country can do in 24 hours. Also for me, um, these restaurants are on their last legs and they literally have days to survive. So um, I love doing nightmares, that was incredible. Everyone knew I was coming. Right. The big secret about how 24 hours to Helen back is no one's got any idea where I am, who I am, and when I'm gonna show up. And it was quite nice and somewhat, in many ways, to be honest, therapeutic going in undercover because I got treated like a normal customer. I had my fat suit on, my beard on, right. and, and my big belly and my earrings and, and, and uh, it was wonderful because I never get treated normally in the restaurants. So that was so important. But the collateral damage prior to me getting there was um, sought after through a CCTV monitoring system that we rigged the restaurant up first. So I had the damage. I didn't need to go sniffing. I knew where all the problems were and I could get straight to the problem uh, instantly. When they realize it's Gordon Ramsay, it's like, oh great, it's Gordon Ramsay, or oh no, it's Gordon Ramsay. Yes, the latter, unfortunately, oh no. It's fascinating because um, I cut through the BS. Let's get straight to the point. Every time they went in denial, read, watch, sit down, listen. They don't know how bad they are. And then they've been under that scrutiny before. For me, it was seeing the problems firsthand, confirming how bad they were, and then getting straight to the issues immediately. 24 hours is not long. Absolutely. Well, best of luck with that. I, I don't have to tell you best of luck. It's going to do great.